Uh, welcome back. This is uh, a second uh, section of our tutorial series. And uh, in this series, we are going to have an overview of um, how cyber panel looks, how it uh, works, and, uh, and the different uh, uh, functions. So if you haven't watched the, the previous um, uh, tutorial on how to install cyber panel, please check it out. So the first thing, uh, when you are completing the installation, we were given some information. And um, one of the uh, pieces of information included the uh, the URL to uh, to access the admin dashboard. So in my case, uh, uh, I have it here with me. Uh, this one being my IP, that is from one uh, from one one five eight all the way to uh, three eight. Basically, Cyber Panel uses uh, port 1890 uh, uh, to access the, the admin dashboard. So in your case, what will vary is this uh, IP. So uh, uh, once the uh, installation is completed, just take note of that IP. Alternatively, you can uh, fetch the IP from uh, your web hosting provider. So uh, we have the IP and the port 1890. So we visit that website and it's telling us uh, it's not uh, your connection is not secure. We need not to be worried about that. Um, uh, it's because um, uh, uh, we don't have an SSL installed on the URL that we we visited. So we are going to see how to uh, to resolve that. So click on advanced. Then we have uh, this option to uh, proceed right let me see so i just reloaded then uh, uh, i'm requested to import my username uh, the the default username is admin then for the password i had my own password then click on sign in And there we go. We are currently on um, on the um, admin dashboard. So uh, once you're able to access this this dashboard, we can see the, the layout of the different functions, and uh, it is going to have an uh, an overview of uh, what you can do uh, now with the access to uh, the admin dashboard. So the the first uh, the first thing we can uh, check out on the users. One uh, one of the function of this uh, option is that uh, you are able to to create new users who can be accessing uh, uh, the same admin dashboard and probably give them the uh, some uh, uh, necessary permissions. So, for instance, let's see how you can create a new user. Create a user. Then you can give the user a name. Let me work with uh, with Dan, the last name Dan, email. Uh, let me work with that, Dan. Okay, let me work with that. Then for uh, select SEL, you can uh, you can um, uh, give uh, uh, categorize them according to what uh, uh, to what privileges you want them to to have. So in my case, let me just create a user who doesn't have the admin or, re or reseller privileges. Then for the website remit, let me remit the, the user to one. Then for the username, let me have it as um, that. Then for the password, I can generate a strong password. Then I use, then security, we are going to use it as high. Then click on create user. So once you create this user, you can now give them the, the URL, uh, this uh, uh, URL, and the username and the password for them to uh, to be accessing the, the admin dashboard. Let me use a password that, that I can remember here. Then let me create this user. I'm told that the user is created successfully. Then we can open an incognito tab.
then let's input the username then the password and we have been able to log in uh, to the new user uh, to the um, uh, to the admin dashboard with the with the user that we we just created so this user also has uh, a number of uh, functions that they, they can do so just explore to see what this user can do and what they cannot do so the next thing uh, we have website website so this is where you uh, there is a function that is used to to create a, 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 to add a new domain name to delete the existing one to access the the file manager and all that so this is the interface this is how it looks like You can create a new website, you can list the available website, you can modify an existing website, you can also suspend or unsuspend a website or delete a website. So basically this is the function that we will use when we, uh, we want to add a new domain name. So uh, back here you can also define uh, the packages, uh, the web hosting packages. This way you restrict uh, uh, the uh, package uh, so that uh, it uses uh, a, a minimum or a maximum or rather a maximum of uh, say 10 GBs and uh, other other um, website uh, specifications so let's see what it has for us So create a package let us list the, the existing package and see what it has so basically you might encounter a problem that uh, the disk usage is full for your website you probably have a wordpress website and uh, after uploading uh, some files over time we are told that the, the disk the disk is full so basically uh, after checking on the on the disk usage on your on your vps you realize that you have probably used uh, some 5 GB out of probably 20 GB but uh, for the website uh, you see you have restricted uh, this package to uh, 1 GB so after this uh, disk has been uh, occupied uh, you get now the error that uh, your disk is full so all you need is to come to the list of packages if you have assigned your domain to this package the default one you just come and edit then for the disk uh, for the disk space adjust accordingly then save so you can also you can also create a new package and also include uh, uh, the necessary uh, uh, packages uh, rather the, the, the necessary requirements so the, the other one is a database you can create a database here you can also view the available databases the next thing we can talk about is FTP. If you wish to upload uh, uh, files using the FTP method, this is where you 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 create the account uh, or view the existing um, account. Uh, there is also the backup option. You can create a backup here, and you can also restore backups that have been done in the past. But basically, you have to check with your hosting provider that. Uh, uh, they have uh, a backup plan for the for the VPSs. So uh, then the next one is emails. You you are able to create emails to retrieve emails and access the email inboxes on this uh, option. Then we also have the SSL part. So with this one, you are able to install either free or the premium SSL that is on your domain name or your uh, host name or even the the uh, the mail uh, the, the email uh, host name then the next one is the status this is where you monitor uh, the status of the different uh, processes of the of the of the server uh, with this one you can be able to to kill or stop some processes from running you can also be able to monitor those processes that are uh, uh, or other those services that are uh, taking so much memory of your vps and probably kill them or restart them 
then the next one the next common one is uh, um, uh, php so for the php here you are able to to install different php extensions we are going to uh, to to deal deeper into these uh, functions one by one in our upcoming videos so this marks the end of our of, uh, of this uh, uh, tutorial series we were just having an overview of uh, uh, the, the, the cyber panel that we recently installed so basically uh, we will meet in the next uh, uh, video thank you for watching bye bye